Winter is the season of the citrus, as you can see from the Valencia orange right behind us. And I have here Mignola Tangelo and Josh has Satsuma Mandarin. So let's do a quick citrus garden tour. Join us for a quick citrus garden tour. This is Valencia orange. Look at all the uh, fruits. This is very prolific. Let's start here at the at our first um citrus. One second. <laughs> this like plum tree is like. So this is variegated calamundine. It has like look at the tiny fruits growing. A second, let's wait until that one passes by. And then more tiny fruits here. Look at the leaves. Some people use this as a more of like an ornamental plant because of the the leaves. So this is variegated calamundine. A lot of tiny oh sorry. A lot of tiny fruits and like some flowers there too. This is variegated calamandine or it's almost the same as calamansi. I think this is the calamansi is the the closest relative sort of. I'm not sure if calamansi and calamundine are exactly the same but here they are labeled calamundine they are labeled um, calamansi but in the philippines calamansi usually don't turn orange and calamundine turns orange one second it's pretty loud so here we have um and then on this side we have this is the six citrus, six varieties of citrus in one plant. This is Mignola Tangelo and it's ready. Let's pick this one. And those are, I'm not sure if they are lemons or lime, maybe lemons. Oh, it smells so good. This smells like so good. And like earlier, I showed this to you. If you've been watching our videos for a while, you've seen this um, grapevine. This is blueberry grapevine. But it's like dormant right now. It looks dead, but it's not dead. And then this is um, Valencia orange. With lots and lots of fruits. Look at the difference in color. This one is darker. The Mignola Tangelo. This one is lighter. This is not, they are not ready yet. So they will grow like bigger. Lots of fruits. And then. This one too. This is Yuzu Lemon. It's not fruiting yet. It has a different like time when they bloom and then when the flowers turn into fruits. And then moving on to here. This is um, super slowly growing. This is Satsuma Mandarin. Oh, it's ready too. Let's harvest this one too. This one is super ready. I can feel like the, the skin like very soft. And then Josh asked me to harvest some calamansi earlier. I'm going to harvest some calamansi. Here we have another, another very prolific uh, plant. This is Nagami kumquat. Nagami kumquat, you have to or like kumquats, you have to eat the peel and then the uh, the fruit, the entire thing. So the peel is sweet, the inside is like sour, sort of bitter, so you have to eat them, like the entire fruit. Look at how prolific. A lot of fruits. And you can turn them into like candied kumquats. I have a video where I uh, made candied kumquats. 
uh, add the link at the end of this video. Look at this. Aren't they very, very pretty? <laughs> there are lucky fruits too. So on Chinese New Year, you can uh, serve them as like the lucky uh, fruits along with the other citrus fruits. Nature is amazing. Like, you know, during winter time is when you need to boost your vitamin C. And that's when these uh, citrus plants are having fruits too. And then this is calamansi or calamandine. I'm not sure if calamansi and calamandine are in the same family or they are the same like exact variety. But in the Philippines, we call this calamansi. But like again, I'm not sure if because they turn orange. I haven't seen them turn orange. The calamansi in the Philippines, I haven't turned them. I haven't seen them turn orange. So it grows all the way up there. I, I could not reach those fruits, so they fall on the ground. And they are sort of ever bearing. So we have calamansi year round because you see those are like ripe and there are like tiny fruits growing. These ones will be ready soon and then there are like next ones like say see, see this one is tiny bigger like those are big so it's like year round fruit bearing a tree. And then here we have lemon. This is Eureka Lemon. Eureka Lemon is the one that you see in the um, grocery stores. Sort of the most common lemon. But there are different varieties of lemon. There is uh, Meyer Lemon, which is like sweet, more of for lemonade. There is, I think, Portuguese. I can't remember anymore. But there are like different. There's Yuzu too. Different varieties of lemon. Yuzu is the most fragrant lemon. And then, look at there. There are like more fruits there too. And then up here. So this is the lemon tree. See, beautiful. And then, we have another, another lemon tree here. Let's go this side. One second. It's trash pickup day. So this is another, it's the same, Eureka lemon. There are a lot of fruits. Let's go to the other side. It has lots of fruits too. So we have two Eureka lemons. We have two calamandine and then we have yuzu lemon, we have Valencia orange, we have uh, satsuma mandarin, and then we have the citrus salad, the one plant with six citrus varieties grafted into it. Here's my harvest. This is an apple tree, with, which I need to move somewhere because it's so close to the lemon tree. I'm gonna harvest the lemon. Lemons are, are very good for you, but they're really sour. <laughs> yes, <laughs> here's our garden pickings. Let's end our citrus garden tour here. Here's our harvest. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't yet. And also, if you haven't too, click the notification button down below. Bye. 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 See you in the next one. See you in the next one. <laughs>